Boundaries. Do you feel like those are hard for you to be able to establish? That those are hard for you to be able to figure out? A lot of times you set up boundaries with another person, a toxic person or a person that doesn't really care about you and they're always run over. As a result, you're like, I can never even establish a boundary. I can never even figure out how to put a boundary out. I can never stand up for myself. You might have set up a boundary and he threatened you about it, that he just walked over the boundary that you set. There's someone I was talking to the other day, her uh, name was Sharon, and she said that no matter what boundaries she would put into place, he would never listen. He would walk over every single aspect of a boundary. He didn't seem to care about those boundaries. This is one of the hard things when I was talking to someone the other day about boundaries, especially when we talk about it with a narcissist. Because when you develop boundaries with a healthy person, there's like a progression of they bring up a topic or they bring up something and you're like, hey, I'm not comfortable talking about that. And they're like, oh, okay. And they respect that boundary. And then you don't have to actually progress with any consequences or any removal of yourself from the situation. But with a narcissist, it just continues. Hey, I'm not comfortable talking about that. Well, why aren't you? Let's talk about it. And then, okay, like, hey, I, I really don't feel comfortable right now. Okay, well, I'm going to keep walking after you till I get the, till I get the res resolution that I want. Hey, I don't want to talk. I need space. Okay, I'm going to break down the door because I want to be able to fix this. I want to be able to figure this out because I love you so much. All these different things. And it just progresses more and more and more and more. So the hard thing is we talk about boundaries and we talk about putting that up with a narcissist. And a lot of times they just don't work. And I'm not saying this to be a negative Nancy. I'm just saying this to be able to paint a picture so that you understand when you set a boundary and a narcissist consistently is unwilling to respect that boundary, it's time to leave. It's time to get out of that relationship. And you see me say a lot of times, if a narcissist isn't honest, vulnerable, or show consistent change, then it's time for you to leave. If they don't respect you, then you need to leave. But this boundary setting can be extremely hard. Boundary, uh, narcissists are known for being boundary breakers. Like, I'm going to go through and I'm going to bust through and I'm going to break your boundary. And if you guys are new here, I'm a narcissist. And so, like, I know this because it's the thought process. If you set a boundary, I'm like, oh, you just set a limit. You just set a goal. You just set a challenge. Can I break this? Can I go through it? Can I do what I want to do and not get in trouble for it? Now, a lot of times boundaries change in my mind to just being these like challenges, these things that you're trying to limit me. You're trying to hold me back. Let me do whatever I want to do. Sometimes it could be an aspect in the relationship where the nurse is like, oh, you're just playing hard to get. So let me try to do this more. Let me, let me mess with you more. Let me try to manipulate and control a little bit more. For me, there's this aspect of being like entitled of like, I thought I could do what I wanted to do. So I didn't think your boundaries applied to me. Those boundaries seem stupid because why would I need to deal with your boundaries when I'm entitled to whatever I want? And the majority of narcissists have this entitlement aspect of I can have what I want, when I want it, however I want it, as fast as I want it, etc. And when you set a boundary for yourself saying, hey, I'm not comfortable doing that, they flip it around and they're like, oh my gosh, you're limiting me. You're controlling me. You're manipulating me. You're overbearing. You're All these things will come out and the narcissist will put the blame on you for something that you set up for you. Because that's what boundaries are. Boundaries are meant for you, not for the other person. There's multiple different types of boundaries. Uh, and, and all of them are there to be able to protect you, to be able to help you not get sucked into toxicity, not get beat down even more, but to be able to help you actually say, hey, this is the line. This is the line. This is the limit that I'm willing to go to. And if you want to go past that, go past that. But you're not going to go past that with me. And you start to remove yourself out of the relationship. Sometimes there's physical boundaries of dealing with your space Dealing with your body of like, hey, I, I'm not comfortable of you doing that to me. I'm not comfortable of you touching me that way. I'm not comfortable with how you're advancing on me sexually. Like this needs to be able to slow down. And you'll see an aspect of narcissist that's like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll slow down. It goes right back. And then you start to get confused. Like, wait a second. They said they respected, but now I'm doing the exact thing I didn't want to do. Or the narcissist will start to guilt you. Of like, 
but I thought we were connected. I thought we were having a moment here. I thought thought we were actually in love. I thought you were my partner. I thought we were going to be together forever. Like, like, what's the big deal? Like, they'll start to minimize all the different things to be able to break down your boundaries and be able to get you to change. You have to understand if a narcissist can get you to break your boundary, a narcissist has one. And a lot of times has you under their control. A narcissist thinks it's a high a lot of times to break a boundary, but it's even a bigger high if they get you to break your own boundary because then you can't say anything to them. You can't say, well, I didn't like this. Well, you did it. See what I mean? It gets flipped around. So there's physical boundaries and there's also emotional boundaries. This deals with your feelings, with your emotions of what's actually happening. This might be different conversations or topics that are unacceptable to you or that you're like, I'm not really comfortable diving into that. Like, can we, can we just take some space? And like, no, we gotta deal with this. We gotta work through this. We gotta figure this out. It doesn't really give you the time to be able to work through stuff, to be able to understand, but instead is very pressuring of putting different things on you. I struggle a lot of times with this of like breaking or pushing on someone's emotional boundary of like, hey, something's wrong. We need to fix it now. And I expect to just fix it like that. And then there's nothing else that needs to happen. Like wife is upset. I'm like, okay, let's fix it. Boom, fixed. Now you should be all better. Let's move on. It doesn't work like that. A lot of times I want to push on that boundary. Sometimes there's social boundaries. This could be just interactions with others. This could be oftentimes space with others. This could be the aspect of you even dealing with other people that are interacting with the narcissist. Flying monkeys, the new supply, and you're like, I don't feel comfortable spending time with these people. Like, I don't want to be in this situation. I don't want to have to interact with this person. Like, this is something that is intentional of I do not want to do this. Now, it's not saying they can't show up. It's not saying they can't do whatever, but it's saying, hey, I'm unwilling to put myself in that type of situation. So I'm going to remove myself from that situation. Sometimes this can be intellectual, of different thoughts or beliefs. This can be the aspect of like information that you don't want to receive. Like, hey, I need to actually set a boundary. Like, I appreciate you telling me all this stuff, but I really can't hear about my ex anymore. Because every time I hear about him being with this other girl, like it's really messing me up. It might be the aspect of like how you engage with other people or different information or beliefs that are placed upon you. Be like, hey, that's, that's great that you believe that, but like that is your belief. And I'd appreciate it if you didn't push it on me. Like there's different types of boundaries. So we talked about physical, emotional, social, intellectual. It is hard because in doing this, you have to be able to set and maintain these boundaries. And when you don't maintain them, they get run over time and time again. When you don't actually stand up and have this consistency of this is my boundary, I'm not crossing this boundary, this is where it is, this is the line, I'm not moving that. As soon as you move it, as soon as you get crossed over, as soon as that person breaks your boundary, they know in their mind that you didn't actually care enough to hold that boundary. So a couple things moving forward is you need to identify your personal boundaries. A lot of times this looks like your values of identifying who you actually are. Specifically, we dive into this inside Escape Toxicity and even deeper into the 45-Day Clarity Challenge, helping you actually understand and start to go down that process of who are you? What is your purpose here? What direction are you trying to go? And getting really super clear on that is absolutely essential because if you don't know who you are, you're always going to be stuck. A lot of times I'll talk to people saying like, hey, a narcissist isn't attracted to an empath. They're not attracted to an old or a young. They're not attracted to a beautiful or an ugly or a wealthy or a not wealthy. They're not attracted to all that. What they're attracted to is someone who doesn't know who they are. And as a result, can be easily controlled. You might be really good at business. Really, you might have a couple companies and you're like, I'm doing really well. And the narcissist comes in your life and completely sweeps you off your feet and you're completely stuck and trauma bonded with them. It's not because you're stupid. It's not because you're not good enough. A lot of times it's because you didn't have that sense of who you were and the direction you were going personally, spiritually, emotionally to be able to say, hey, I'm getting pulled off track by this person. I'm no longer going to engage. When it's boundaries, you have to make sure you not only know what they are, identifying your values and who you are, but you also have to communicate them very clear. A lot of times assertively. Not assertively as far as like you're yelling and like lording it over someone else, but assertively and saying, hey, this is where it is. Like you need to understand this is where it is. That's it. Keep breaking it, I'm out. Break it, I'm out. Don't even think about the keep breaking because otherwise you'll keep staying longer and longer. Then you enforce it. 
Now you have to understand like these consequences of enforcing a boundary are not you punishing or abusing another person. That is you protecting yourself. So many people want to switch it around. The narcissist will try to switch it around. Oh, I can't believe you're doing that to me. How can you do that? I have needs too. All these kind of lies that they'll start to tell you. A lot of times you have to remove yourself. But when you're struggling with that, when you're trying to figure it out, you got to get into a support system where you can become resilient of the challenges that you're going to face, consistent in your responses to that person, and have people around you that can support you and help you move forward. Before I forget, like if you're struggling with these boundaries, we start to walk through this concept and help you understand it on a deeper level inside escapetoxicity.com. You can check that out and you can start to see the progression of how to actually work through the narcissist, reactive abuse, building boundaries. And last but not least, I want to be able to highlight that boundaries are for you. They're not for anyone else. Sometimes we think of boundaries as being like limiting things to put on other people, but a boundary is just for you. That's it. And when we talk about this aspect of boundaries, it's just this aspect of like, hey, you can't control the other person. You're not going to change them. You're not going to make them any different. But the one thing that you can control is you. My wife had to get to the place where she was like, understanding I can either stay with him and if he decides to cheat, he's going to cheat or I can leave and if he decides to cheat, he's going to cheat. Like he's going to do whatever he's going to do. There's no aspect that I can control him, but there is an aspect that I control myself. And so as a result, she built boundaries of this is the limit that she's willing to take. And when that limit was broken, then she left. If that's you and you're struggling with these boundaries, I want you to reach out for help. Check out escapetoxicity.com to be able to start your healing journey today.